Hey guys, so um, I'm going to try to do a couple of videos today and um, this first one that I'm going to upload is um, an unboxing and a kind of demonstration of both of these products. So first one here is called the Ultraviolet Sunlight Meter. Um, this is made by UV Hawk. It's a UV Hawk 2. Um, basically this kind of measures on its own type of scale, um, how what the what the danger of the UV is that reaches the sensor right here. So I'll do an unboxing of that. So, like if you take your sunglasses to the eye doctor or something like that, they will give you a um, they will test your sunglasses and and shoot basically a, a UV uh, wavelength through it and there will be a sensor on the other side and it will tell them how much of that wavelength passed through your sunglasses which kind of simulates how much of the wavelength would have passed through your uh, into your eye and done some damage so uh, optometrists say that if one percent of UV goes into your eye that's technically considered safe and a lot of glasses are either 99% UV filter which would leave that 1% to come into your eye or 100% UV filter which would leave 0% to come to your eye so that means it's fully blocked anyway so this is a device that I tried to get that would help measure that and um, this does not go on the one, 0 to 100% scale this goes on like a 1 to 16 or 1 to 15 yeah, 0 to 15 actually. So, um, check it out. Here's the box, UV Hawk. Um, you know, I guess if you need to read anything, just pause the video. Because uh, I don't want to make it too long. You can probably pause that if you want to read it. Um, I will just try to do this quick because I'm going to try to get through three things in this video. So here's the unboxing of this one. Um, I unboxed it previously, but uh, so there's the manual. It has some instructions in it. And there's like a little string to hold it. And here's the meter. So you can kind of tell how big it is. It has an on-off button. Um, this is kind of what turns the sensor on to measure it. And this is just for settings like what color your skin tone is and uh, what protection UV uh, SP, SPF like lotion that it recommends and blah blah blah. So that's that product. And now this is a UV light. So. Um, basically the reason I bought this was because this shoots out UVA, UVB, and UVC rays, uh, and it's used as a disinfectant, so like, they say that, you know, if you're in a hotel and you want to, it's kind of like that blue light, you know, that you shine on stuff and you can tell, like, they have it in those crime, crime scene shows and when you shine it on stuff it kind of tells where the germs are so if you hold this well actually I don't know if exactly if it's like that but if you hold this they say if you hold this over something for 10 seconds it disinfects like 99.9% .9 of the bacteria so So the reason I got this was because I was going to, um, use this to test the UV meter. I was going to shoot this on one side of the sunglass and see how much of that got, um, recorded on the other side. However, it didn't quite work how I wanted to, wanted it to, but, um, so have to think of another way to do it but I can show you what I mean 
So I unboxed this as well and I tried these out. The only thing that was missing, there was two AAA batteries here, but here is the uh, instruction manual and here is the thing. So you slide these, so here it is. It's called the Zadro. And it looks kind of like one of those old cell phones. So, you just slide these up, and then you press this button right here, and that will shine the light for 10 seconds. So, as you can see, see that blue light right there? That is it disinfecting. So that's shooting the UVA, UVB, and UVC rays, just kind of like the sun does. So my plan was to use this to detect it, but the only problem is, all right, so here, let's turn this on. Now, I figured that if I shine this on here, it should give a reading of 15, because this is like the maximum strength, enough to kill germs, and so anyway... I turn this blue light on, on the sensor, press the measure button, and it's reading it, and if you can tell that says zero, which does not make any sense. So basically, this blue light is indetectable to this UV meter, see so zero again. And just to prove that something is up with this light and not this UV meter, let's see, I try to think of everything. What we're going to do is we're going to try this in the direct sunlight outside, and I will show you that it will not be a zero reading, which means that this does detect. So here we are outside, we have to place this in direct sunlight, and the UV out here today is 1. So let's try that again, I'll just hold this set button down again. Oh, the UV out here is 2. I was thinking it should be more than one, so let's try it one more time to get a good reading. So it's two. I'm going to last time, so it's off, let me turn it on, and read it one more time in the direct sunlight. This way. So when that stops flashing, you can tell that. So yes, the UV reading out here is two, while the UV reading for the uh, UV machine that I have, this, the scanner was zero, which did not make any sense to me. Let's try that again. 